Well, the big thing about golf is you are out by yourself and you wait to hit. In pitching, you start the action. But then when you release the ball, you get help to bail you out or not so much help. In golf, you got to play your foul balls, you know? Yeah. And that's the difference. <laughs> yeah. What's one, one skill from your career, obviously, as a pitcher, that you've kind of, whether it be mental, physical, a movement of sorts, that you've kind of translated well into your golf game? I think the biggest thing is when I see something clearly, like whether it's a line in a putt or a shot through a narrow gap, it reminds me of pitching. When I see all this space, not as good. Um, so actually some of the shots that really have like a tighter window made me feel like I was on the mound trying to look at a you know, square inch off the plate or trying to hit the glove. Nice. 117. I would take that every time. It was 114. 114 is probably yeah. a nine iron. Along the way, what was one kind of piece of advice or tip or swing thought or movement that kind of kind of clicked for you or something you, know, that you hold on um, to? Really never have taken a lesson until recently. And the recent lesson really trying to get my right hand through the shot. Everything I've done has kind of been self-taught. And so the one thing that I've always felt like if I could wait now, now I'm older and my hips are worse, I don't wait as much, but if I could wait there and hit it, it was almost like we call it the, it's the pitching drill where you get a crack in the mirror and the goal was to never go this way before we separated our hands. So same thing in golf, if we start going this way, it's over. And so really trying to stay as center over the ball as possible. Got you. Lower. And nah, that's still shorter. That one was 117. Probably the closest one. Closer. Yeah. What do you think about golf that kind of attracts these athletes? Well, it's a great way to play it longer than the current sport, right? There's no doubt you can play it longer. Um, the competition of playing against certain people or playing against in a tournament, and just the fact that I think it's a movement that athletically, most people can make that played sports, but not everybody can get to the point of hitting the ball the way they want to. So it's something you can never master, but it's also something you can play for a long time. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Hit that, that small space here. With the cross wind. Yeah. <laughs> I think he got with that one. I think I went through the space, right? Yeah. Nice. With wind, affects your pitches. If you had the wind at your back, then of course it was harder to hit it out, but it, it also made it tougher to throw breaking balls. So you'd throw primarily fastballs because if they hit a fly ball, the wind at your back means they're gonna, you know, it's in their face. So conversely, if the wind is in your face, that means your breaking ball and secondary stuff's gonna break more. But it also means if they hit a fly ball, yeah, it's, gone. it's gonna go farther. Yeah. Was there ever, I'm, you didn't have to deal with crosswind really. With yeah, the, sometimes, you know, it definitely is depending on Chicago. Wrigley was probably one of the windiest along with San Francisco when it used to be on the bay, not necessarily where they've got it now. But there's some notoriously um, days where I'd say it's a small percentage because the yeah. ballparks and where they're at, but Chicago, you looked at that flag, first thing you did when you got there and you're, Either got a little twinge that you didn't want to pitch that. No, <laughs> yeah. it definitely was a two different ballparks. Is there something similar about obviously being a pitcher in the in the MLB? It's a, pretty much you out there on the mound, right? Yeah. Do you get that same feeling with golf at all? Well, the big thing about golf is you are out by yourself and you wait to hit. And pitching, you start the action. But then when you release the ball, you get help to bail you out or not so much help. In golf, you got to play your foul balls, you know, yeah. and that's the difference. <laughs> yeah. Tried to play more of the wind that time. Yeah. Tagged it though. What's your usual carry at? Yeah. Um, that was 280 total. I've lost a lot of club head speed, so that's about normal. Yeah. 275, 280. I mean, when I jump on it, like when I want to jump on a, you know, if I have, if 
I'm not worried about a tight fairway, then I can launch it higher in the air. Yeah. But it's not necessarily the good habit. You know, yeah. I like to finish high when I'm trying to yeah. fix that. Let's see it here. Ooh, hang on. That's through. Awesome. Thanks, John. You got it.